First of all, my name is Mama Abdul Hamid bin Hashim Ed Hasri. My natural name is Miss Fazila Hadibah binti Fazil Suhaimi, who is teach me principle of agriculture at JLS 142, and I am from group 81101A. Weed and Pest Management in Paddy Field Introduction Weed is defined as plant growing in a place where it is not desired at a particular point in time. A weed is a plant which interferes with human activity or welfare or any plant growing where it is not wanted. Weed Identification Firstly, grasses which are narrow, parallel veins and round stem. Second is broadleaf, which are fan-like and branching veins. The last one is sage, which are narrow, parallel and triangular stem. There is four methods in weed management, which is cultural, physical or mechanical, biological and chemical. For cultural method, we have fire, grazing, flooding, crop rotation, liming and mulching. For mechanical method, we have tilling and mowing. For a biological method, we have insects, mites, nematodes, and pathogens. And for chemical method, we have herbicide. A pest is a plant or animal detrimental to humans or human concern as agriculture or livestock production, or an organism that causes nuisance and epidemic disease associated with high mortality. A pest is also a competitor of humanity. Class of pests is divided to six, which is insects, mollusks, vertebrates, nematodes, weeds, and plant disease agents. For insects, we have black bug, zigzag leaf hopper, and rice keeper. For mollusks, we have snail. For vertebrates, we have Norway rat. For nematodes, we have apple and coit specie. For which we already discuss about it so let's move to the next one for plant disease agents we have virus bacteria and fungus for virus we have rgsv rhbv rrsv and rwsv for bacteria we have xanthomonas oryzipes oryzae and for fungus we have riblas or pericularia grisia for method of pest management we have cultural mechanical chemical genetic and biological for cultural control, we have crop rotation, trap crops, tillage, residue management, timing of operation, and resistant varieties. For mechanical method, we can hand picking to remove insects, tilling to remove weeds, trapping to catch insects or rodents. Biological pest control uses living organisms that are predators to control pests. Many insects are beneficial in controlling other insects. Pests have natural enemies in the environment, as example, ladybugs eating aphids. For chemical method, we use chemical pesticides. A pesticide is a chemical used to control pests. For example, include insecticide to control insects, fungicide to control fungus disease, meticides to control mites, Herbicides to control weeds, rodent, rodenticides to control rodents, mollusicides to control mollus. Genetic pest control utilize biotechnology by gene transfer or genetic manipulation to make plants resistant to specific pests. Conclusion So, why weed and pest control is needed? Weed and pest control is important to prevent losses in yield and production costs and to preserve good grain quality. Specifically, weeds decrease yields by direct competition for sunlight, nutrients and water. Weeds also increase production costs such as higher labor or input costs. Uh, weeds reduce grain quality and price. For example, weed seeds in grain can cause the buyer price to be reduced. Specifically, pests decrease its by spread of disease, increase production costs such as input costs in sorghum pesticides, and reduce green quality and price. For example, crop that been destroyed by pests can cause low profit. This is my reference for this video presentation. That's all from me. Thank you.